On today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we'll be taking you guys along with us to an award-winning brunch spot on Oahu. And today's going to be a very special episode and we can't wait to take you guys along for the ride. We got to check out the buffet. We got to get on the line over there. These trays aren't big enough for us. Honestly, you guys come here for the seafood. We all know that. Let's get going. Let's go. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. And if you guys are new here, I'm Amanda. This is Felix. We're a locally born couple here on Oahu, and we take you guys on all of our foodie adventures. And for today's foodie adventure, we are here for a very special episode. As you can see, we're all dressed up because we're <laughs> taking you guys along with us to Amanda's favorite brunch spot on Oahu. For guess what? Because it's my birthday! <laughs> and I want to say this video is coming out after we did the live stream, but it, we didn't do the live stream yet, but ahead of time we want to say thank you so much to everyone who's been sending me happy birthday wishes and for the people who participated in our live stream. And of course, you know a birthday brunch would be complete without the Vaughn, of course. <laughs> you know she had to be here. <laughs> You know she loves her brunch. And this is actually Yvonne's first time, so she's very excited, as you can tell. And let's get going, because we had to secure this reservation months in advance, so we can't be late. Let's go. <laughs> let's get going. Any coffee? Oh, pineapple. Pineapple. Uh, grapefruit, please. Yes. Any coffee today? Uh, maybe maybe in a little bit. Yeah. Thank, okay. you. Thank, you. Thank you. So guys, we are finally seated. And if you guys didn't guess, we're here at Orchids at the Halekulani Hotel here in Waikiki. And I do want to say, guys, this spot is beloved amongst locals. And you might think like Halekulani Hotel, that's so expensive. But it was only $85. It's actually lower priced than 100 sales. And you know that this place is beloved by locals because we ran into so many local subscribers. And we want to give a big shout out to you guys. It was so great to meet you guys. $85 and then it comes with juice, coffee, tea. They did even have these on the sides where you can order um, pastries, bread, soup of the day, eggs benedict, pancake and waffles, and white rice, along with their buffet items. I just wanted to say right off the bat, the service here is awesome. The staff is very friendly, everyone's attentive. Already our juices are coming out. I got pineapple juice, Amanda got guava. Grapefruit. Grapefruit because she's not worried about her blood pressure and uh, Yvonne got the guava and um, Thank you. our server gave us the okay the green light to go and get started getting some awesome eats so <laughs> pretty excited so let's start with some juice though cheers cheers, cheers. you see can you guys see yeah. Ooh, oh man Mm. What a way to start the buffet. So I, I did request um, Ocean View, of course, because it's Amanda's birthday and we wanted to secure an awesome table. So make sure you request that in your reservations. We'll show you guys more of that in a second. But first, let's get to eating because we're starving. We got to check out the buffet. We got to get on the line over there. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go. go. Thank you. Oh man, guys, I swear, these trays aren't big enough for us. <laughs> I mean, look at this already. I come bearing gifts. 
<laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's healthy and looking good. Yeah, <laughs> starting off healthy. We are starting off round one with fresh items first. So as you can see, we got sashimi, some hand rolls, fresh crab legs. We also ordered some of the things, as mentioned earlier, that's not on the hotline that you have to order. We got Benedict, uh, waffles. Did we got a pancake too? We got pancakes too. Look how cute these portion sizes are. And make sure you don't fill up too much on the carbs. So, you know, very good tasting of everything. Devon's already starting on her hot item dishes. <laughs> Honestly, you guys come here for the seafood. We all know that. And the live music, if you're into that. They were playing Disney music earlier on the piano. Very lovely, nice touch to this awesome atmosphere. And we're like literally right off the beach. We can see the ocean from here. The view is amazing. You're not going to use chopstick? Oh, okay, okay, sorry. I got my weapon of choice here with all these uh, shiny silverware in front of me. <laughs> Two types of hand rolls. The first one we got was the salmon cream cheese roll. Amanda wanted to try the salmon one first. I'll try the spicy ahi one. Well, this one is uh, salmon with cream cheese hand roll. Cheers! Mm. Mm. First place I've had salmon cream cheese hand roll. Usually you have to like special order it at places, but they have it here. The fish is fresh, so you can't go wrong with the fish here. And then let's do the oysters before they get warm. They have a full on oyster bar here. Unlimited oysters. You can probably get your money's worth just on the oysters alone. And it's very customizable too. They have everything separate. So Amanda wanted green onions, I wanted red onions. And of course, ponzi on top. You could also get cocktail sauce with lemon if you're into that. Oh man, wow. so fresh. I have to go for another one. I just love onions. Let me know down below, do you guys like onions on your oysters? I love red onions. It gives a nice spice to it, nice sweetness. And that just hits the spot, especially with this ocean breeze coming in, eating fresh oyster, fresh seafood. The oysters are like creamy. They have a nice cream to them. It's so odd. I've never had oysters that are so creamy. Amanda wanted cocktail shrimp, so we got some of those. These look like the normal size. They don't look very jumbo. Try. Mm. It's shrimp. Not super bland. The cocktail sauce has a nice kick. Your typical cocktail sauce. They also had marlin, salmon sashimi, ahi sashimi. They had nigiri sushi. We got all of the different assortments. There was hamachi, ahi tuna, salmon, and ika, which is squid. Ika is personally one of my favorites. <laughs> so as usual, half dip. You don't want to saturate the rice too much. And we're trying not to eat too much rice now. You don't want to get full. Yep. Very fresh, very buttery, Whoa. really clean. The rice has a nice acidity too, not super vinegary. And along with sashimi and sushi, they have their own poke too. Oh yeah, they have a whole poke bar. The one that caught our attention, their version of spicy ahi. So it looks like there's onion, tobiko eggs, furikake, and the spicy mayo sauce. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. That tobiko. Not as spicy as other spicy ahis, but I love the added tobiko in it. Adds an extra layer of crunch. Not too mayo-y either. And of course, this being a brunch episode, we did get some breakfast favorites. Pancakes, waffles, and mm -hmm. like I mentioned, I, I love the portion size here. Look at the eggs benedict. Yes, this is a very nice portion, especially since we're planning on going back for round two, three, four. Who even knows? All right, guys, so this is the Eggs Benedict. So it looks like your very traditional Eggs Benedict with the English muffin, ham, and um, the lovely runny egg yolk. Mm. Wow, that's delicious. Oh man, the hollandaise sauce is amazing. The hollandaise sauce. This is one of the better hollandaise sauces, yeah. Oh, I gotta go for a second bite, sorry. I will say I don't like the English muffin. I don't know if it's because we've been letting it sit for a while, but it's pretty um, yeah. hard. It's on the harder side. Like, as you can see how Amanda's struggling to cut it. Oh gosh. Maybe if you guys do get this, eat it right away. Don't let it sit. <laughs> that hollandaise sauce, I can just dip any bread into that and sop it all up and eat it. That's how delicious this is. I might have to order another one of that, just for myself. We will. Yeah. I'm gonna order one more for myself later. Next, we really wanna try these pancakes and waffles. They look amazing. Okay, so you, you wanna do the waffles since you like waffles more? Yeah. Okay. Who said I like waffles? That's Yvonne. 
Oh, you like pancakes more? I don't know. What do you think, Fudio Hana? Are you a waffle person or a pancake person? Well, I'm definitely a pancake person, but I do like my waffles from time to time. But cheers. I'll go for the waffle. Mm. Mm. I will say I, re I will say I really like the syrup. Yeah. Not a big fan of the waffle. Oddly enough, it's very. Really. It's not crispy and light like I would like it. I don't know. Really? Let me try. Yeah. Give me a piece. Like I said, I think it's because we we were letting it sit. Well, fun fact, Kali Kalani, they're known for their baked goods. So for this episode especially, stay tuned for the dessert. The waffles are light and fluffy. Definitely, if you guys do try it, let us know what you guys think. The pancakes taste very um, flapjacky. <laughs> For lack of a better word, I don't know how you explain it. Like your standard pancake. I think the pancake and the waffle are pretty standard, but I don't know something about this maple syrup. The syrup, yes, I will say the syrup is good. <laughs> Next, should we get into the lobster? I mean, that's, there's no lobster, guys. Should we get into the crab? You got Yvonne excited. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a nice healthy leg. I'm a claw person. Butter is right here. Oh, and when you get crab, they also give you a little thing of butter too. Your own personal tub of clarified butter to dip your crab in. The one thing I will say though, isn't the crab a cold crab? The crab is cold crab though, guys. So just be aware of that. Ooh. Ooh. I will say, it's nicely seasoned. Mm. Ooh. What season? The crab? Yeah, the crab. Really? It's not overly salty. It's not too bland. Nanda's better at uh, cracking these bad boys than I am, so. Kind of failed on this. One. <laughs> I'm using my chopsticks to like push out the meat. Mmm, mm. that meat is so sweet. It's yeah, like, it's very sweet. This could be my dessert right here. Sweetness of the crab. Can't be beat, Food Yohana. Can't be beat. Oh, look at this huge, huge lobster claw. Oh, you got me saying lobster now. Look at this huge crab claw. Oh, I wanted to give you this to you. Give it to me? Is this my birthday gift? <laughs> this whole experience wow. is your birthday gift. Honestly, it doesn't even need butter. But guys, next we're going to be getting some of the hot food items and we can't wait to show you guys those items as well. You know, I got to have my meats. So much. All right, so we went to the carving station this time, and you guys, they have three different meats, and they had like a veggie area. So the first thing we got was, which one do you want to try? Um, let's do the turkey because that looked really interesting. Rarely do you see turkey carving stations unless it's like a holiday they're celebrating or like if it's in the season, but they had it here, so I was really surprised. Normally, I'm not a big fan of turkey, but come on, it was hard to resist. Seeing that whole bird on display, all the seasonings on it. Every piece is very, very thin, which I personally am a fan of. Just because I don't, like you guys know me, I don't like my meat to be too thick. Oh my God, this is fork tender. What the heck? Cheers. Oh my God. Mm. Oh man. Wow. Don't sleep on the turkey. Sleep after you eat the turkey. That's how good this thing is. Wow. As you guys know, if you've watched the channel for quite some time, we actually did our very first turkey during last year's Thanksgiving. That was the first Thanksgiving we had our new home. And wow, this just makes my turkey like go to shame. For sure. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is really good turkey. Probably one of the be best ones I've had, to be yeah. honest. I'm gonna try some of the prime rib, because that looked amazing as well. Amanda doesn't eat hers with horseradish, so we just got the au jus. The au jus looks like, more like a gravy here. It's re It was really thick. I'm still on the turkey. Oh, no. That prime rib is buenos. I might have to ask them to cut me a thicker piece the next time I go back. Mm. It is Whoa. really flavorful. Yeah. Very simple. It's just 
tastes like just salt, pepper, rosemary, maybe some thyme. I mm. like that rub and the brown rich gravy. Very flavorful. That gravy from the prime rib just reintroduces that beefiness back into the prime rib that might have been lost through cooking through the roasting period, but man. But yeah, definitely when I go back for our second, third rounds, I'm gonna ask for a thicker cut of prime rib. I generally like my meats thicker. Although I do appreciate that they want you to have room for other things. When it's cut too thin like this, I feel like it reminds me of like roast beef. So I'm gonna try it thicker. But let's get into the lechon, because when you see a whole pig, a whole roasted pig on display of that, come on now. You gotta try some. And they give you the nice shattering pieces of crackling skin. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, yeah, mm. Mm. oh man. Mm. Mm. This is just pure pork, you guys. I can oh, taste the pork skin. in it. Mm. Very simple seasoning. The pork just shines through. So you're gonna get some of that crispy crackling skin on top. Perfect bite right here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. I swear, if you are a big fan, unadulterated porky flavored goodness, this is the one for you. Oh my goodness. I like that it's still very moist as well. It's not dried out. I will say the prime rib is a little bit on the drier side than the moistest one I've had. The most moist, I don't know. The pork though, that one is so freaking moist. It's crazy. The turkey as well. And I forgot to mention, but the turkey comes with the cranberry sauce and the cranberry sauce has a mint, like a herb mint flavor to it, which to me, so good. I love mint. We had to order more juice because the juice here is amazing. We did get the omelet and we got bacon breakfast sausage. I don't know what this is. Italian sausage? Well, I know this is breakfast sausage. I'm not sure what this is. Fat breakfast sausage? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that looks really good. The cheese is like oozing. And the omelets yeah, here, fully good. customizable. I made a very simple cheddar cheese, mushroom, bell peppers, Portuguese sausage omelet. Oh, you know what Portuguese sausage? <laughs> That's just not the omelet that I would have got. But I know Mano would probably got like spinach, mushroom, everything green, <laughs> everything in between. But you know, I love my meats. This is like a carnivore's breakfast right here. Pork side of bacon. Oh guys, Ooh. it's so cheesy. Oh wow. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna hit mine with a little bit of ketchup because I love my ketchup. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Can't go wrong with an omelet, I'm telling you that much. It's very customizable too. I didn't know until a gentleman behind me ordered his omelet. You can order it egg white only. Oh. So if you want to go healthy, you could have just got an egg white omelet with tomato and I don't know, spinach, whatever is healthy. Mmm. Mm. Bacon. I will say though, the bacon is a little bit on the dry side. Breakfast sausage. Oh man, we should have saved the maple syrup. Yeah, I dipped it earlier. So good. Oh man, what kind of sausage is this? Oh, the fat one is good. That fatter sausage is um has a nice sweetness to it. Really? Yeah. Mm. Oh, also we didn't get. Ooh, this is a good sausage. Wow. What is that sweetness, you think? It's like maple sausage or something? Yeah, it might be a maple sausage. I taste some fennel as well. You guys, I just had a sip of the guava juice. This is amazing. If you guys think the canned stuff is good, this is like hitting it up a notch. Oh my goodness, especially when it's nice and cold. He brought me out a fresh glass. Oh man. And typically, I'm not the kind of person that likes a Hawaiian sun kind of guava juice, so this is amazing. Mm. And then Felix got his refill on the pineapple juice. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness, just add some coconut and rum, pina colada right there. I just love the juices here. I can't wait to show you guys the dessert. But before we get the dessert, we gotta go get our favorites. Chow down, and then we'll catch you guys up when we get the dessert. So I'm gonna kind of frowned when I got this, but they do have a ramen station, and I was too curious not to get it. 
I know, I know, it's noodles and such, but I had to, Furi Ohana. So they had several different options. They had miso, shoyu, a catch of the day. I'm not sure how seafood would work in the ramen, so I went with the shoyu, the safer choice. And very simple, it was just bamboo shoot, ramen noodles, broth, and uh, looks like pork, slices of thin pork. Doesn't hurt to give it a try, right? And I like that, once again, the portion sizes are small here, so you're not gonna fill up too much on this. Maybe don't get the wrong. <laughs> really? There's like no flavor in the broth. I don't know. Might just be me because everything else is so flavorful. Let's try the pork with the bamboo shoot. The pork is not bad. All right, now back to the meats. I mentioned I was gonna get the prime rib, thicker cut, but I don't know if the gentleman heard me because he only, instead of giving me a thicker cut, he just gave me two pieces. So he gave me two pieces of the same roast beef thinly sliced prime rib. I mean, it sounds like I'm bashing on it, but the prime rib honestly is pretty good here. It's cooked really well. It's not rare and too bloody and that gravy on top is just amazing. I could probably just eat the prime rib with rice and mac salad. Call it a day. And of course, I had to go back for some more lechon. This time I asked them for extra skin. You know I love the crispy skin on the lechon. Ooh, look at this bad boy right here. Mm. So good. I saw a table nearby get what looked like an iced tea. I had to make sure I asked the server and he said, yes, it indeed was an iced tea. And look how refreshing this looks. I had to get one of these. Cheers. <sighs> really refreshing. They have a, a nice touch of sugar cane too. How awesome is that? And of course, I had to get another Eggs Benny because I love my Eggs Benny, but on a man that Felix eats, you know I gotta elevate things a little bit. So of course I got fresh crab meat. I'm gonna add it to my eggs, Benny. Oh, come on now, tell me you would not order this. Next time you come here, try this out. Let me know what you think. Crab cake, eggs, Benny. Ooh, tell me you would not want a bite of this. Mm. <laughs> Mm, probably the best thing here. For the record, we've been here for three hours. So guys, we have to eat the sorbet before it melts. We got mango, vanilla, and we got some kind of ice cream cookie. And guys, look, they brought me a happy birthday cake. It's super duper cute. Very nice touch. And this is their famous coconut cake. Which is available, of course, yeah, on the line too. You can get your own slice. You don't have to pretend like it's your birthday to get one of those. But I definitely will be taking that home because that cannot go to waste. So um, we got a couple ice creams. Their specialty ice cream sandwiches of the day is Banana. mixed. <laughs> it's all covered in the other ice creams. Um, M&M cookie with Kona coffee ice cream. Hopefully you guys heard me. Anyway, good catch, Devon's. All right. So I guess Amanda's gonna try the sorbet first. I think that's the mango sorbet. I'll try the ice the cookie ice cream. Cheers. Thousand percent get the mango sorbet. <laughs> Dang, that thing is good. This is so decadent. I have very mixed feelings about this. The cookie itself is delicious. The ice cream inside, the Kona coffee ice cream, delicious. However, it was sitting on that freezer slab. It's really hard. You gotta get the sorbet. The sorbet is amazing. The mango? Are you sure yeah. it's sorbet or is it ice cream? I don't know. That is so sweet and decadent. Oh, very fresh mango flavors. I gotta pull the bonds, guys. Ice cream and my coffee. Next, another thing I really wanted to try was the bread pudding. It looks amazing. Oh, me. Um, mm. Mm. It's very moist. It has a bitter flavor too. Like it, it kind of tastes like a, is this an alcohol? Oh, I see what you mean. It's almost like a rum. Like a burnt rum or... Spiced rum? Yeah. What is that? Oopsies. My finger went straight into that. Oops. Mm -hmm. mm. 
I like the sauce on top. What is that cream? It's just, it's like, it looks like condensed milk, but it's not. It's, it's like, like a custard, I think. Yeah, like some kind of custard cream. Oh. You got your iced coffee. Yes, it finally came. I like mine black. He did say it's just regular hot coffee with ice in it. <laughs> Nothing like cold brew special or anything like that. Ooh, it's coconut tart. Yeah, cheers. Mmm. Mm. Lily koi? It has a hint of lily koi. Creamy. There's something crispy in the middle. Yeah, the crust. And the lily koi isn't like super tart. It's more like a creamy lily koi. So you gotta go with the signature. Yo! <laughs> So this is their most well-known prized dessert here at Hale Kulani. You gotta be a coconut lover when you come here. It is so light, fluffy, decadent at the same time. Nice creamy accents for coconut. I love coconut, you guys. If there exists a heaven and there's a cake there, it'll probably be this. That's how good it is. There's just so much dessert, guys. We gotta speed through this. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna try it. Like a matcha. Well, I don't even know if it's green tea. For all we know, it could be lime. I don't know. Mm. Pistachio? Like a pistachio bar? Kind of want to try this eclair. They didn't have um, labels. They did not. I double checked. Mm. Chocolate. This oh is man. Rich. Very rich. I didn't see that second plate of dessert. That's why I was like. Bro, you're like, you're going kind of slow. Like we got so, things to eat here. Chocolate eclair, custard, chocolate. I'm excited to try this. What is this? I have no idea. Mm, it looks like a mango flan. Mmm. <laughs> it's lily coin. Mm. It's so delicate. It's like um, almond, uh, it's like soft tofu. It's so soft. Or almond, almond float, it just falls apart. This is super light. You're feeling heavy. This is the yeah. one to get. I think that's my favorite so far, other than the coconut cake. All right, what's next? This chocolate one? Yeah. Is that a gold flake on there? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the names of French desserts, but cheers. See, that has a gold flake on here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're going to like that one. Mm. You don't want a little piece, yeah, trust me. Yeah, just take the whole thing. Really? That's how good it is? Yeah, eat it slowly though. That's just kidding. <laughs> oh man. The richness of dark chocolate, the lightness mm. of a Forer Rocher, oh, those gosh. wafers, thin layer of lily koi in the middle. It's light and fluffy but decadent at the same time with that hint of crunch. I think that was one of my favorite desserts here as That's well. my favorite so far. Yeah, if you're not a coconut person, definitely get that chocolate bar. This looks like a raspberry brownie. Cheers. Oh, cherry, I think. Ooh, cherry and chocolate is like my two favorite combo. Other than chocolate and mint. Actually, chocolate and strawberry. You know what? Yeah, chocolate and cherry. Very good. <laughs> right. Slightly tart. It's because I like to eat, you know, those chocolate cordials. I just don't like the texture of it. Yeah, it's, it's like a more dense like brownie. A, it's in between like a chocolate brownie and a chocolate cake. I think that's why it's throwing it off. The next one is like this roll cake looking thing. It's a little flavorless. Tastes like almond. Not a strong flavor, but... Very light nut butter flavor. Very light, yeah, nutty. And then we have a cocoa puff. Kind of reminds me of uh, Lily House cocoa puff, but lighter. But it's not Chantilly, though. Looks like there's cream and chocolate. Can I just bite it? Yeah, go ahead. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Purely a cocoa puff. Nothing too special. Definitely Lily House Bakery for the Cocoa Pops, but if you're craving that, you can get it. Oh, That's bro. why I didn't want to do that. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if you guys do make your way out here to Orchids, let us know which dessert is your favorite or which dish was your favorite. We'd love to know. Mine was definitely the coconut cake. Fair Rocher chocolate ganache bar. And as for the hot items, I do like the pork if you get the good pieces. As for extra skin, if you like that crunch. I think personally for me, all the seafood was really good. I like the hand rolls, the sashimi, poke, the crab, the oysters. 
those were my highlights. Also the dessert segment, the dessert bar, the dessert area has so many great desserts, so much to choose from. And definitely if you like coconut, do not skip on the coconut cake. And the sorbet is awesome as well. You just, you can't go wrong here. But for me, I'm not really big on the, the meats and stuff. So if that's your forte, you can check that out. But seafood, that's where it's at. And I know a lot of you are gonna be asking which one we prefer, 100 sales, orchids, or Plumeria Beach House. I feel like every place has its highlights. So if you guys do wanna check out those videos that we previously filmed, Make sure you guys check the description. I'll have it all linked down below as well. But yeah, let's get Yvonne's opinion. What does she think about today's lunch? Today's brunch, I'd say everything was really delicious. My personal favorite, which I know sounds weird, was actually the omelet. I really liked that I could personalize it. I know that seems weird, you can just make an omelet at home, but you know what, whenever you go to a place and you know like you can customize it to add whatever you want, so I added like everything <laughs> that I like. You just get to add everything you want to it. It just makes it so much better. And there's like uh, different cheeses you can choose from, so I really like that. But um, in terms of like the things that they had here, it was pretty much like every, every other place that we've gone to for buffets. There was really nothing um, like I thought was like super special in terms of like they tasted any different. So you know, if you're just looking for like a normal buffet and what you're expecting and you're already here, I recommend going but honestly, it, I would say the standout for me was the dessert bar. I'd say that, you know, if you are like a person that really likes to have desserts after you finish eating, definitely get the desserts here. I appreciated the ice cream bar. There's, it's very rare to go to a buffet and they have like ice cream you can choose from. That chocolate cake, oh my god, that one chocolate cake that we had, the crunch in it was so good. I felt like I was eating like a piece of heaven, you know? I don't know how to describe it, but if you love chocolate, definitely go for that. I'm very happy that it was Amanda's birthday and I got invited here to come because it was really nice to uh, get the chance to eat everything and yeah. <laughs> Foodie Ohana, that about wraps up today's special birthday episode for Amanda. Thank you guys so much for coming along on today's food adventure. We had so much fun showing you one of our favorite places to get brunch here at Orchids at Halakulani. And if you guys want to know more about the establishment, make sure you guys check out the links down in the description. It'll be down there below. If you like this type of content, make sure you drop a like down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. It gets our channel out there to new subscribers to join our Foodie Ohana. Mahalo so much to you existing Foodie Ohana for watching and tagging along with us on all these adventures. So until the next one. Oh wait, I do want to say, you guys see the background in the back? Oh yeah, check that out. Let the camera focus, do its thing. It's Diamond Head and Lady. <laughs> yeah, it's a very iconic scenic spot here for picture taking for photo ops. So, Foodie Ohana, until the next one, eat your brunch, explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye, guys. Oh, man, I'm full. And, um, I... Wait, we didn't say where we're at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, an English muffin. I, I said that. Oh, oops. I want to try. No, I, I was just showing them. Oh, it's like, geez. She didn't have her coffee yet. He gave me some flaccid skin. Look at it! This is not what I was anticipating. Okay. This segment is over. <laughs> oh, shoot, man. Oh. Oh, man. Oopsie. Wait, where's my iced coffee? Oops. Lost the blueberry. Definitely don't get the ramen. Oh, you kicked the camera. Eat your crab egg benedict. No. What?